Welcome back to lesson two of our pendulum series on what questions do we ask our pendulum? Well, first we're going to want to make sure that our pendulum is answering the questions correctly. So we're going to ask it things that we want, that we already know, so that we want it to know and answer properly. So I'm going to suspend my pendulum so that you can all see. And I want to ask it, all things considered, is it optimal that I am female? And as you can see, my pendulum is swinging forward and backward. Now, why do I use all things considered, is it optimal? I learned this from a great friend of mine named Amy Scott Grant, and you can find her lessons on YouTube. She taught me that this way it encompasses everything you're asking. It takes into every equation that you could possibly think of and ask you your higher self and for your highest good in that way. So I always say, all things considered, is it optimal? You can use what you'd like, but I think that this works the best for me and it gives me the most clear cut answer ever. And I thank Amy for that. So it said yes, that I'm female. So let's try it the other way. All things considered, is it optimal that I'm male? And mine's immediately going to no. So we know that mine is answering correctly. These are things that you already know. And yes, you could be influencing your pendulum, but more than likely, you're not. So you can ask things that you can check out later, like the weather report. This is always a really good way to see if your pendulum is working correctly. You can ask, all things considered, is it optimal that today will have rain? I guess I'm not getting any rain today. And if I go and check the forecast, it'll tell me what percentage chance of rain there will be. We don't like to use these for predictions because necessarily this isn't a prediction tool. This is a tool that is called a truth tester. It will take whatever your question may be and tell you the truth. If it's out there in the universe, it will tell you. If it's a prediction and it has not yet happened, or you're, nobody really knows if it's going to happen, then it won't tell you. But if there's things that already may be out in the universe, say like someone's pregnant, this was used quite often back in the 1800s and even before that to check the sex of cattle and chickens. And it helped to breed better. If you had more females, you know that you needed more males and whatnot. So you can use it for babies. So you can hold it over someone's belly. I'm sure you, Everybody has seen this be done. I even saw it on Ellen DeGeneres the other day um, with Natalie Portman, and she said she's having a girl. So we can try that. All things considered, is it optimal? Natalie Portman has a baby girl in her belly. And mine's confirming that Ellen was correct, because she also predicted it would be a girl. Now that's a prediction, but the sex of the baby is already determined by the universe. So it's not really a prediction. If you're going to ask about a job, if you have two jobs that you've been applying to, this can tell you what you're most likely going to be more qualified for or what you may get. But let's stick with the basics. All things considered, is it optimal that I have two children? And I do have two children, and it says yes. So do this for a couple different questions that you have. Avoid the words will and should, because these are prediction words. So if you phrase your question and you find you've got the word will or should in there, probably not a good question for this to answer, because it will answer incorrectly, because it doesn't know. Your higher self doesn't know. Okay. So now you've gotten all your questions and you're pretty sure that your pendulum is working properly. So what do you ask your pendulum? I use my pendulum for just about everything in my daily life. In fact, I use it to shop. This is my favorite way to use my pendulum. I bought my laptop this way. I bought a new car this way. This will tell me what is the best for my highest good. You can do it over things that may not be good for you. I do it to check produce in my refrigerator. 
So, I'm sitting here drinking a uh, can of Arizona iced tea, which I'm pretty sure isn't good for me, but let's ask my pendulum. All things considered, is it optimal that this beverage in my hand is good for me? <laughs> no, it is not good for me. Gee, aren't you all surprised? So you want to do that with your foods. You can do that with things, especially foods in the, in the grocery store that you're not sure if your meat has turned yet. Hold it over your meat. Ask, is this good for my body? Will this be nourishing to my body? Well, we used will. So is this nourishing to my body? Don't want to use will. Um, I used to pick out a couple different laptops when I was purchasing my Asus. And I would hold it over the gateway and say, all things considered, is it optimal that this laptop is the best for my highest good? And it's holding it over my laptop right now, and it's saying yes. And I went through about five laptops, got a few really strange looks, but I didn't care. I was spending money on this laptop. I was going to make sure it was for my greatest good. And it is. It's been a great computer. So you can do that with a lot of different things. So go around your house, find some things that you know are good for you and you know are bad for you, or even if you don't know if they're good or bad for you, and play with your pendulum. I can do this also when I have tarot cards or if I have, my favorite game is with Uno cards. And I have a few here, so give me a minute to grab them off my table. Ah, okay, now usually when I'm doing this as a production or a show. I will tell you, if you're going to show off with your pendulum, it will make you look like a fool every time. So be sure you're doing this for the greatest good and it will work properly. But if you're doing it as a parlor trick or a party trick, I'm going to tell you, it's let me down plenty of times. So this is kind of a teaching tool, but it may consider this a party trick. So I'm going to tell you that I have a green, no this is blue, sorry, a blue, a green, a red, a green, and a yellow. So I have four cards here. And I'm going to shuffle them up so I don't know what they are. I'm not going to show them to the camera yet. And instead of holding them in a stack like this, I just saw that one so I better shuffle again. Instead of holding them in a stack, take the one off the top and hold it separately because sometimes your pendulum will be confused. So I don't know what's in my hand and I'm going to ask out of the four colors which card this is. Okay, Pendy, don't let me down here. All things considered, is it optimal the card in my hand is blue? It's saying no. I'm going to stop my pendulum. All things considered, is it optimal the card in my hand is green? Again, it says no. All things considered, is it optimal the card in my hand is yellow? It says no again. Now we know that the last card would be red, so let's ask. All things considered, is it optimal the card in my hand is red? And I'm getting a very clear sign for yes. And there we go. Oof, didn't let me down. Okay, so I'm going to take another one off the pile, and I'm not going to look at it. Okay. All things considered, is it optimal that this card is blue? Getting a no. All things considered, is it optimal this card is green? I'm getting a yes. I'm going to ask just for effect. All things considered, is this card, all things considered, is it optimal that this card is yellow? And I'm getting a no. So it said it's green. So I'm just going to clarify it. All things considered, is it optimal this card is green? And I'm getting a yes again. And there we are. So it's a fun tool that you can use and play with and get acclimated to. And it can do wonders for your real life. So go ahead, take it out, and play with it. I will cover some more things that you can do with your pendulum 
in the next class. See you then.